Axe to Grind, and I'm wearing the same shirt. What are we doing today? Uh, Mosh Madness, part five, post game. Okay, tell me more. You are? Patrick, obviously. I'm Bob, obviously. And I'm Tom. Obviously. Clearly. Welcome to Max Grind. This is probably your first YouTube video ever. Welcome to YouTube. Yeah, hey. We appreciate it's it. Be fun, new crazy. format, new thing. People can put up videos. It's yeah, wow. Fucking wild. Anyone can put up whatever they want as long as it doesn't have POD in it. Yeah. Mm, Maybe a little, just a little, just a little bit. Sneak. Uh, sneak a little bit. Sneak a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you can. It, fly, it flies and nobody's looking. You got to subscribe to YouTube Dark. Yeah. All right, let's talk dark. Let's hey, get... Alan, fuck off. <laughs> oh, we're getting this text. It's all good. Let's talk um, fun facts about the tournament, just for, for the nerds out there. What label had the most releases in Mosh Madness? Hmm. I think I guess. I'm going to get three guesses between the two of you. So, you want to first guess? Reaper. No. Triple B. No. One more. Uh, uh, think about this, think about this, think about this. Division 9? Yes. No. Oh. Ready? Yeah. The label with the most releases in Mosh Madness with eight releases is Death Wishing. No shit. I was going to say that, but I was like, this is... Good for you, Death Wish. Death Wish is number one with a bullet with eight, followed by Triple B. And closed casket, each with seven. No shit. We fixed that. Oh, wait, actually, Reaper also. Reaper had seven. Closed casket had six. Okay. Close enough. Okay. There we go. So, hey, Reaper, if you want to throw us some money, you could also uh -huh. we, we could fix it. We didn't yeah. fix it. But, <laughs> we Death Wish. It. Wow. Uh, Code Orange, I'm King. Code Orange, Love Is, Bitter End, Guilty as Charged, Bitter End, Illusions of Dominance. Mm. Blacklisted, When People Grow, Touche Amore, Party with C. Cold World, How the Gods Show. Impressive. Wow. Do we low rate Death Wishes impact over the past 10 years? Oh, I, I think some people We do. don't, but I, th I think other some people, people probably do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, so I feel like those bands don't necessarily, if you think of Death Wish, I don't think they go like, oh, well, yeah, the Cold World record was on Death Wish. I don't think people automatically put that together. No. Like if right. you asked, you know, Norman Corman, like, uh -huh. what do you think that last Cold World record came out on? I don't think they, that's what should be the first their first guess. They should, but you're right. They, they probably don't. Yeah. Um, so big shout outs to Death Wish on yes. that. What state do you think delivered the most records for Mosh Madness? New York, York fucking hardcore. Wait, okay. so you you picked Pennsylvania? Yeah. And you picked New no, York? I'm joking about New York, too. Okay. New York, okay. definitely not. Okay, he picked Pennsylvania. What do you pick? I'm going to pick California. Yeah, good guess. Fuck did you pick Pennsylvania? You got multiple code oranges. You've got Two. You, you've got uh, blacklisted uh, cold world. Blacklisted cold world title fight. Title fight. Concealed blade. Concealed blade. A lot going on here. That's where they end up at what? six. Where are you at? California fourteen. Mm, best it's state. it's a math game. Best state. Best state. Most population. Most records. And California. I think this is the biggest California. decade for California hardcore. There's gonna be some old fuck that resents that statement. Why? Because they're like, no, new age. They might be right. Like that, the '90s were pretty good for California. Oh, I was thinking even older fuck. I was thinking about. Oh like, well, like '80s, '80s, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Gaffle you up. Uh, I'm talking in the post post separation of church and state of punk and hardcore. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, like if you there's people who will say Black Flag's not a hardcore band. Those people are wrong. Like, There's people who will say suicidal is not a hardcore band. Those people think, are wrong. Do you think Black Flag is punk. It's a punk band, man. Just punk. Even oh, shit. hold on, pause. Sorry, I don't give a fuck about Black Flag, but let's just talk about this for a second. You should give a um, I think they actually have more output that leans closer to metal hard. Yes. than they do punk. What two punk records and multiple hard records? Let's say no. Let's let's go. Nervous breakdown, jealous again, and let's say damaged punk records. Wait, I'm sorry. W w w hold on. Uh, Nervous Breakdown, Savage. Okay. Keith Morris. Yeah, def okay. That one's definitely a punk record, sure. Jealous Again? Mm hmm. Definitely a punk record. Yep, okay. Nervous Breakdown, First Rollins. You, you're getting TV Party, you're getting Six Pack, Rise Above. Yeah, I guess Rise Above. But okay. it's a hardcore okay. record. Okay. Both okay. those records are hardcore right. records, too. All three of those are hardcore records, but you could argue if you're going to say, is this more punk or is this more metal? That record's more punk. Okay, metal, for sure. My War, 
heavier, uh, slipping in heavier, loose nut heavier. In my head, it's just scales. Yeah. You know. But that's my point. It's like, let's say you don't like that material. That's mm -hmm. your prerogative. Absolutely. But, you know, that band spent plenty of time being heavy. All right, so what's the best decade? What was the best decade of California hardcore? Let's, let's sub out the 80s. Let's go 90s, aughts, and 10s. Yo, the aughts sucked. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, I like some of that material, yeah. but if we're just to take it as, hey, let's look at this with clarity, as yeah. a sort of a sober vision here, that music is often terrible. So what, let's, what are the big California records from the 2000s? Terror? Loves to love. I will let that live for sure. Carry on, like let's play. Overrated yeah. in my view, but I get it. Same, but I know it's a big one. Yeah. Um, what else we got? I'm thinking more of the chains scene. But there wasn't that many guys from California. You got to remember that. Who? No, you're so, so there's the uh, like. Um, Orange set County. Straight. Well, I'm thinking yeah. Orange County. I'm thinking like like, like like the heavy bands. Like when did Throw Down? Throw Down, Throw Down, the yeah, 90s aughts, yeah. um, Bleeding Through, aughts, right? 18 Visions. Yes. They're like both on that straddle. So you're saying that stuff? A Ben Sevenfold, bro. A7S. I'm, but I'm saying that stuff tires me out. Like I, yeah, like, I, like, I like one Throw Down record a lot, but like you're talking about like uh, 18 Visions, Bleeding Through, that stuff's a pill, man. And, and so I'm saying that that, yes. that era is not... That's not holding up. It's not exciting to me. But, but then again... Uh, what do you got in the 90s? Well, Unbroken, Strike. Outspoken, yeah. Strike, Strike. Nike. You can count, Nike. You can count all the uh, uh, gravity stuff. and uh, you Some know. of the gravity stuff, Infest. Um, 90s might win. 90s pretty strong. 90s is strong, but 10s, the they 10s have a lot. They just, you know what? The 10s are when, I think, more so than ever before, bands were looked at from being from California and not like, oh, they're from California. They're just a band. You know what I mean? No, I mean, Even, like, Strife might have been the only band from the 90s who's from California who I didn't think had that, like, they're a California band stamp, even though they were a California band. No, that you know makes sense. I mean? Yeah. Honestly, I don't, to our California uh, listeners and constituents, you might not realize this, but because you're, you're, obviously your state is massive and things in your beautiful. state, it's beautiful, it's the best state. California. It also feels like the right. world, right? It feels like the world. But to a lot of us outside of California, at, just as you said, California was its own weird sort of like musical ghetto where yeah. even if things sounded very different, yep. we all had a tendency to say... Oh, it's, from, it's some California shit. Yeah, it's yeah. California shit. Yeah. Like Nerve Agents? I don't know what Nerve Agents sound like because that was too California for me. Love Nerve Agents. Um, but, you know. Yeah. 1987? Come on. Oh, God. Fuck. Yo, I wonder if you could fuck with Redemption 87. I actually think you might. I've given Redemption 87 a shot. Live, cool, cool yeah. vibe. You know, you know, you know, know. Have, where's Justice League from? California. So, I mean. so for an upcoming episode. Yeah, you episode, are a big Justice League fan. For an upcoming episode. We had to revisit some Justice League material. Mm -hmm. I realized how much I like it I much it. more than this. Even the early stuff, I like better than his contemporaries. It's really good. When's the last time you listened to Justice League? I don't know. I don't okay, know. it's really good. Yeah, it is. like yeah. it has this weird slant somewhere between like Uniform Choice or like Unity or whatever and SoCal Punk, like Adolescence or. Dion, yo, it's good. It's really what, good. What, what and, or like right, even TSOL. Right. It's um secrets, future stuff. Uh, so, 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 but here's, to the world. here's what I was gonna say though. I would say that it's almost exactly to me. Uniform choice meets a tiniest, and they went more in this direction later. But even in the beginning, tiny bit of college rock. Yes. So, yep, yep, yep. so, so if so I might go like they, they might have listened to those weird TSOL records. Yeah. Or, or something like that. Too. Yeah. Or. or, or I don't, I don't know what SST records were out in 85, but... Point, oh, point, SST's crazy in 85. Point is, I'm sure, actually. But point is... Two Who's Gonna Do records in the same year. Two Who's Gonna Do records, was Minute Men, Puppets? Sack and Trust, and maybe Meat Puppets? Puppets? No, Meat Puppets are right there, either 85 or 86, and maybe 84. But yeah, anyways. Because... Some Homestead records was big in 85, so I think that's... So, point is, uh, Justice League, underrated. But we'll get back to that. Sense. We'll get back to that. So, Just, California, know. most bands in Mosh Madness... Massachusetts, eight, PA, six, New York, four, bunch of states with three, uh, and then a handful with one. International entries, two from the UK, one from Canada. So wow. keep that up. Let's talk about this. Yes. What year produced the most records between 2010 and 2018 in Mosh Madness? 2012. 
Okay. It's a good guess. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 2014. Okay. 2012 produced six records. 2014 produced four. Oh. 2011 produced 12. Fuck. So wow. 2010, five. 2011, 12, 12, 16. 2013 gave us 11, 14, 4, 15, 7. Riveting stuff. <laughs> yeah, 16, 7. You're going to have these flying 18, 6. Yeah. yeah he's working on his graphics. Somebody's right into this. Graphics. So, uh, really interesting that that many came out. But the rest was pretty spread. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, so the big years were 2011 and 2013, but the rest were between 4 and 7. It's a fair Good job, folks. Appreciate it. Especially for a random question. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into week five. five. Week five of Mosh. Show me what you got. Wrapped under ice. Big Wrapped under ice. Yeah. Trapped under ice. Big kiss goodnight. Up against Code Orange forever. He's scratching his head already. Yeah, this is confusing to me. Trapped under ice, 81%. Code Orange, 19%. What the fuck? Go in. I am a fan of, a big fan, I'm a stan, as the kids say, of both of these records. Mm. Did not expect the disparity to be that high. Um, I think this is just some blowback. I'm with Pat on that one. Um, I would have picked the TY record, if I'm being honest. Sure. It would have been very, very close. There, I would not have thought out of 100 people, 81 of them would pick the Code Orange record, the, the Trap and the Rise record. Uh, it was 70 30, 65 35. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is shocking to me. Mm -hmm. So it would not be as close for me. I think this TUI record is is great, right? I think it just, yeah. TUI until I die. Sure. That said, this is, this is, wild. This is harsh. <laughs> you think there's some anti? Uh, yeah, again, I'll say it again. If you don't like Code Orange because. Uh, I don't know, they wear oversized black t-shirts. I don't know what fucking reason you could have, but this is not representative of what people are actually listening to. And I know that plenty of our listeners enjoy Code Orange. So this seems a little horse shitty to me. Here's a question. Yeah. Those two bands play one show together. Mm -hmm. mm. You pick the room. We'll say Chicago since it's middle. Okay. okay. Who plays last? They, that show never happens because they fight about it. <laughs> That's the reality. Uh, both these bands can fill, good, can fill a good sized room. Uh, TUI is much more of a part time act at this point. Uh, that can kind of, uh, when it's a reunion, that means all the difference. But when you are just kind of part time, kind of, it, it's difficult for people to frame you correctly as a headliner. Uh, it can be a problem. Uh, coin flip, they fight. They're playing the Metro in Chicago. Yeah. Who, who plays last? TY. Yeah, in that in that circumstance, probably TY. Wow, all right. I say unless it's outdoors festival style, it's TY because they have a bigger live show uh, potential reaction, strictly speaking, just because of front man up there. That's it. Fair. Let's go to another big one. Title fight, Floral Green. Mm -hmm. 65% over blacklisted. When people grow, people go. 35%. No surprise. Nah, but uh, to be honest. Respectable. Yes. To be honest, this is cool because this was, we thought that this was a very overlooked blacklisted record. And meanwhile, that Floral Green uh, is, is a monster. Is a monster. Is that the biggest title fight record? We now think Hyperview. We just had some uh, off off air talk. Where just from stream numbers, it might be Hyperview because, yeah. but that's also the streaming yard. I think Floral Green is the biggest, but it's close. You'd be shocked. Is You'd be shocked. Right? We, we just looked at the Hyperview numbers. The pretty, really? Pretty all all solidly in the three to four million streams. Pretty nutty. Jeez. Pretty nutty. Christ. Yeah. Um, and that's the last one. That's the last one. Yeah. What was the one before this? Not Shed. Shed, it goes, uh, Last Thing You Forget EP. Love it. It's Kingston, Last Thing You Forget, Shed, Floral Green, Hyperview. And Spring Songs is in there after Floral Green, before Hyperview. That record is fucking gold. Get it. Mm. So Shed wasn't, I thought Shed was every record. It was until Floral Green came out, and then Floral and Green. Then each record built. Yeah. That's and crazy. Hyperview might have the numbers, but I think Floral Green. If we were to do this side by side, people would vote Floral oh, Green. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. And also, like you said, physical does 
Yeah, yeah. 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 we don't have it. Don't have that full number of verses. So. We do have access to it. We should. Okay. Oh, anyway, the point, uh, right, point is this, that uh, this is very respectable for a monster versus kind of a, what some people see as a, yes, as a late period record, whatever. Uh, so, okay. Awesome. Uh, both records great. And appreciate the amount of people who are being turned on to blacklisted. Hell yeah. Welcome to the TO zone. Take offense. Tables will turn. 66% over concealed blade, self titled, 34%. Yeah, makes sense. That totally makes sense. But people, That's chalk. For a lot of people, for a lot of people, though, this, more than most, this bracket seemed to. People were excited about both acts. And, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people who liked one or came for one stayed yeah. for the other yeah. and vice versa. And That's that was cool. cool. Yep. If you do, you think there's people out there, Tom, yes, who like suicidal tendencies a lot, but have not heard "Take Offense." Oh, we're actively into hardcore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like people Absolutely. who are maybe a little older. Sure. I think so too. One hundred percent. I feel like I can think of hundreds of people in New York. Yeah, yeah. this is a podcast. This is more of a big, bigger podcast topic. Do you think suicidal tendencies is lost? to time for people under a certain age. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, they still draw thousands of people, yeah. but it's a lot of old people. Do you guys remember when Suicidal came back the first time? When they came, they had taken a break sometime in the mid-90s. Because they had gone big, they went metal, and then they were like, kind of like, we're opener slot on every big metal oh, tour, okay. but then took a break and came back and did that record Freedom. Yeah. And they did their own solo tour. They played like, you know, mid sized venues. They played Burchell. Yep. And they played New York show too. Yes, they did. And those were big. Yeah. yeah. It was in Decision Club? Yeah, it was after me. Oh, who cares? But. That era. When? Who? What? But. But that was also the Infectious Screws time. If they were, so, yeah, it like, it was a little after. What's the. Um, what's the. What's the. Green. Is it Infectious Groups? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I saw Sipius, you know me? Like, it was like their funk band. Yes, it was. But it was right after that, leading into Freedom, and it was like, no, no, Suicidal's back as a punk band. Like, yeah. I don't know, maybe Epitaph put the record out, something. It was yeah. more punk, and it was so cool, and it was a big moment. It was right around the same time Bad Brains did a tour at Soul Brains, so it was like this, like, classics come back era. But I think if you weren't there for that moment, now Suicidal's been a band actively since that time. Well, that? And so it's sort of like, uh, who's got the energy? This is actually it come, came out on Side One Dummy. Side One Dummy, okay. Yeah, and also on Suicidal Record. There we go. 1999. 99. Mm. What a time to be alive. Uh, let's go to the last one in this week. Cold World, How the Gods Chill, 67% over blistered, the poison of self-confinement. Right? Yes. 33%. Gold World, How the Gods Chill. What do you think? I think that this... Sniffing that sub mic? Yeah. It smells exactly like a Italian. Um, <laughs> Italian sandwich. Italian, Italian sandwich. sandwich. I, I'm, I found out I'm Italian now. I can make fun of Italians. Oh, it's one of those. Italian. Italian. Pass the couch. <laughs> um, so let's, let's talk what, about what that. What were the numbers? 77, 23? 67, 33. 67, 33. Which feels two-thirds. Two-thirds of votes to, black, to Cold World. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit I'm gonna shoot this one straight. Are we alright with that? Yeah. Um, just just like with the rival mob versus Touche thing, um, you're voting for these people voted for their their team. They didn't vote for the record because this is the less good Cold World record against a, a list record that doesn't do shit for me, but is a good record. It's a good record. Yeah. Friend of the pod actually made a good comment. What's up, Izzy? Said this is actually a cool conversation to have. Is the importance of each of these records mm -hmm. or what they meant to things right now? We gotta get her on to talk about that. Okay. But I, I just think people voted for Rival Mob in my view because mm -hmm. they take up for Rival Mob or that style of hardcore or whatever. Yeah, it's a, is yeah. that the old fight like they're yeah, fighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Queensberry yeah. rules here. Yeah, all right. um, who thought of this? It offers you no protection to your fucking face. You know? I think it's supposed to be more like cross armed like this, yeah. Yeah. like right. like so like this. Okay, with one kind of out yeah. because then to strike that way. Like you're gonna, you have to click through. Like, if I'm if if I'm like this, but can't somebody? I have to. Can't go somebody through. just hook you right in your fucking? Yeah, ear? You know? yeah, yeah. You go side head. Like, easy. It just, it just makes no sense to me. Yeah, you, get, you gotta get around the guy's arm. You lose some of your. Yeah, you're like. You but, know what I mean? But have they only thought of jabs? When, when it was jabs? Only it was they doing for. Makers. I think it was a lot more. You know, like there was some posture involved. You know. It's what, what the point is. Old timing. Point is. Uh, 
uh, no disrespect to Cold World, just as ultimately no disrespect to Rival Mob, these are just their lesser records, and I think that they came up against hotter stuff, and I think people voted with their team rather than voting with their ear. Wait a second, can we do a thing like audio-visual stuff? You're our, our video guy. No, but All right. okay. <laughs> Cold World, not AV guy. Yeah. How the Gods Show, what about that one track with George singing? Cool. Let's just pause the video, like freeze frame, mm. and you play that track over it. Ready? Yeah, yeah. See, that song was pretty good. Uh, okay, we give it that. Uh, that's, that's worth, that's worth, that's worth the video, right? Oh, that's worth it, right? Okay, that's what we're going on. My bad. Um, yeah, it's hard to talk about because I mean no disrespect to Cold World. I know. You know what I mean? It's just, but like, this is their lesser record. That's it. I stick with my statement that I think if there are to be future Cold World records that build off some of these ideas, people would really go in for it. Think of it like a mixtape. There's sure. a lot of different ideas going on. It doesn't have the album cohesion that we talk about, yeah. that we want if you do a full length. And you often warn against, like, don't do a full length, you gotta make it good, it better be good. I think this Cold World record has tracks, but they're kind of, there's some different ideas going on. And it doesn't listen like a rock record. You know what I mean? So, you gotta have, put your ears on a different way, man. Do you think people voted with their uh, voted with their flag, or, or or do you think that this particular record? Is I think it's got a twelve percent overage for flag votes. Okay. I think this should probably be closer to maybe a sixty forty, maybe a fifty five. That's how I would say. You know, forty five. Right. I think Cold World probably still still deserves to win, but that blister record's big, and it might be skewed by our audience age. Just remember, not a lifetime achievement award. You're voting on the records. You're not voting on y y how much you like somebody's career. But I think Cold World has more crossover than Blister. Maybe, maybe. You know what I mean? Like kids true. that like Blister like more heavy stuff could get fucked with Cold World. Yeah. Kids that like, I mean, Cold World. You Cold know, if you like fucking No Tolerance, you yes, like Cold World, right. yeah. which is fucking wild to me because they're very. There was a time different. when that wasn't true, but right now, absolutely is. Like, they're a fucking youth crew band, comparatively. Well, I'll say that. You know, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Not, not that they are, but you know, speak out. The fucking truth. Cool, cool logo. Is that a band? <laughs> <laughs> Bonus trash! I said it! We're going to make you uh, listen to fucking looking back. We're going to do that. Play gonna, backwards until we all enjoy no, it. It's trash. They have a backwards track at the Great. end of the record. It's cool. Don't Can play that on four. You'll be excited. Don't play that on four. Um, okay. We're listening to that on our field trip to Albany, which will be streaming live on Saddam 518 4269. What's that old one that we could do? Like, we're going to stream that on our, right. our blog spot. Yeah, oh, fine. Yeah, RFP oh, on Tumblr. All right. Um, is that what we got to say? That's what we got to say. We got, we're coming back. We'll give you a couple more of these. Wait, we're you trying. Can you can blame it all on me. I was wrong. Wow. Pretty good. I have no idea what you guys are doing right now. You don't know that song? No, That's great. why you just got fucking ditched, bro. Wow. I'm gonna get that on. It's rhythm and blues, bro. Um, we're trying to do these every week, but we mm -hmm. might not be able to. Who knows? Uh, and if we don't, we'll give you a compilation one like that last one we did. Peace out. Thank you. Man, I was trying to put Easton to bed like 10 minutes ago. This